Hello, hello! Good evening, everyone! Happy Friday! Ayan! Excited na kami dito sa Be Happy TV because tonight, we are joined by one of Be Happy's brand ambassadors, Janu Sate, and she will be uh, showing us how to create amazing gel press art on her journals. Ayan! And stay tuned for the show because we, we will be giving away 300 pesos coupon to a lucky sharer. So for those of you who are watching this live on Facebook, please share and don't forget to put it in public para makikita po namin yung mga shiner ninyo. So hello, hello sa inyo. Ayan, excited na si Rachel. Please don't hesitate to comment if you have questions or anything that you would like to ask Janus later on during her show. Chat lang kayo and babasahin namin lahat yan. And yeah, so without further ado, allow me to welcome to our virtual stage, the one and only, Janus Sate. Hi, Janus! Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Ayan, Janus, Hi. excited na kami. Sige, take us away. Okay, so um, before we start, I just want to introduce um, the materials we'll be using today. So... Um, what you'll need is a journal. If you're um, still hesitant to use your journals, um, pwede kayong gumamit ng watercolor paper or cardstock. White cardstock is okay. Tapos, um, if you're using um, journals, hello Vince, hello Zian, hello Rachel. Um, so, uh, where was I? Ayan. So, you'll need a journal. Um, if you're not sure, watercolor, per, uh, watercolor paper works. And um, you can also use white card stock. And hi, Zell. And then what we'll be doing is if you're going to use a journal, I do need you to have some uh, um, gesso with you. So I am using a... One moment. <laughs> I shopping the matting. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have, I have here the Liquitex Clear Gesso. This is what I'm using. I transfer it to the more small na. Um, container. Tapos, uh, um, after the gesso, you will need your gel press. So, this is my printing plate. So, this is, uh, I think, 6 by 6 Ayan. And then, um, some acrylic paints. What I'm using is also Liquitex. So, I'm using the neon, um, neon colors. And uh, hello, everyone. Hi, Marie, me, Andrea. Okay. And then, um, of course, all-purpose glue. I'm using Aline's. And then... <laughs> oh, top, uh, top fans, you mean? Yes. <laughs> hello, Mare. Okay, and then um, what you'll need are a few of the archival inks. So I'm using stamps like these. Tapos, um, any stencil that you have. I have a bunch of stencils na parang random stencils lang that I've had. And and then rubber rubber stamps or silicone stamps. Parang again. meron ako yan. <laughs> Alin, ito? Oo. <laughs> Alam na ako sa bumili na ito, di ba? Okay. <laughs> Ayan, so I'm just using some random um, clear stamps uh, clay, and uh, rubber stamps. Ayan. Rubber stamps pala. Yes. Ayan. Ayan. So, so guys, we'll be using those. Ayan, sabi dito ni Zell, hindi na, na, hindi na nakaklog yung Liquitex mo nung tinransfer mo po. Uh, the, this one, the gesso. In, yeah. Ano, medyo mahirap siya kasi di ba very, ano siya, um, what do you call this, very hindi siya manipe, uh, hindi siya what do you call this porous na material oh. or na medium so you you'll need to have a little more pressure when it comes to pang um, sure may effort yung i-squeeze mo talaga siya pero oh. ako kasi i like control i like kasi yung control eh. so hmm. if you're not um kung hindi, <laughs> kung hindi ka fan ng may control na ganun ano yan nako natawa ako sabi ni Gladys nako bakit ganun nung piso pa lang random ko nang pambubudol wala pa nga eh nagdi-discuss pa lang tayo ng materials everyone <laughs> <laughs> okay so ayun um what was i saying ayun nga ano siya if you're someone who want, who doesn't feel parang 
you're, you're feeling restricted na masyado maraming control, uh, masyadong konti yung lumalabas, you'll need Uh-oh. to use a, a bigger, ano naman, a bigger parang spout for your nozzle, for yeah. your, uh, and, uh, uh, bigger nozzle, you know, so yun. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, here's an example of one of the projects that I've done on my journal. So, the, the reason why I want you to use gesso kasi, especially kung hindi naman watercolor paper yung ginagamit mo, there's a tendency na magbibleed through siya. Good yeah. lang. <laughs> <laughs> Parang I need the archival ink pad. Uh, <laughs> nako, abangan nyo. Ay, charot. <laughs> so, wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Ayan. So, here's an example of it. So, ang ginawa ko lang, nag-gel press ako and then um, I also used some extra cardstock and watercolor paper to add more details which I will show you how to do later on. So, ayan. So, it's very important to have gesso on your journals kasi nga, ayan. If you notice, I used, uh, I coated mine with gesso first. And if, mm-hmm. Ayan. Diba? Very clear lang siya. So, obviously, yung mga parts na, hindi ko naman siya pinatch lahat na may, may gesso. So, if you notice yung parts na hindi ko na lagyan ng jess, so tumatagos siya. So nagbibilid siya sa likod. So, ayan. Ayan. So that's an, an important factor you need to consider when you're doing, um, what do you call this, um, mga anything that's water-based or um, using materials that are not um, like watercolor paper. Ganun. Okay. Ayan. Kung baga, guys, step one will always be prime your paper. Oh, yes. Okay, so we'll start. I will just show you a few ways you can use your gel press. So we, I'll set aside my journal first. So what you can do is, there are a lot of different ways you can uh, work with your gel press. Okay. Um, one of the easiest ways you can do this is if you have oxides with you or anything water-based na mga um, stamps. What you can do is kind of similar sa ginagawa niyo sa plastic. You can kind of uh, press in. Ayo ko lang siya magmix and then add some spray. Mist niyo lang ng water. Like so and then ipopress niyo yung paper niyo. And then magtransfer na siya, di ba? Yan na. And it's very easy to kind of clean up. Kailangan mo lang ng wipes. Punas lang siya. And then you're good to go for the next color. So, for example, gaganyan mo lang. And then spray again. So, uh, ginagawa ko kasi ayoko na makayong mabigla. So, we're doing it from base, the simplest form. You can, baka mamaya, ay, ayoko na. Ang dami palang gagawin. Baka oh, masya kayo <laughs> so, guys. I'm just going, yeah. So I'm just uh, showing you different ways you can use it. So, ganyan lang. And then you're you're all set. Diba? Patuyuin mo lang to. Pwede mo na siyang um, gamitin for other projects. Yeah. So that's an example of what you can do with it. Now, with using the, ano naman, the brayer. Ito pala, sa, sorry. Kalimutan ko sabihin na kailangan nyo to. So we're, we're going to use a brayer for this. Don't worry, guys. Lahat naman ang pinapakita ko dito, ma- maahanap niyo siya sa bihap. Eh. Yes, guys. Yes. Ayan. Budol na nga daw. <laughs> okay. So, Jano, sorry. Anong size ng, ano mo? Gel? Uh, ano gel mo? Yes. Plate. Gel. Uh, this is 6 by 6 Ayun. 6 by yeah. 6 Okay. Okay. So, we'll start with um, pra- um working around how you use the Shell press plate and your brayer. So, uh, ko ng paint. I have here a uh, disposable mixing palette. Long. So, I'm just gonna choose two colors. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So, just so you can see, magwi mix na ako sa glat ng color. Grabi na kaka excited yung ano. <laughs> Sabi ni Miss Marie, eto na naman, yung walang ka-effort-effort. <laughs> Bakit si Janos yung gumagawa? Parang ang dali-dali. Mga friendship sila nila Ian eh. Pag sila yung gumagawa, akala mo talaga, ang dali-dali ng lahat. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yun naman kasi guys, ano yun? Parang effort, ito? 
um, years of practice lang siya. Kaya siya mukhang madali. Pero, and, but when you look behind the scenes, it actually takes hours to do. <laughs> Ito ako kay Miss Marine. Sabi niya, oh, effortless. So, yun. Um, parang sabi ko, it actually took me like three to five hours to finish. <laughs> okay. So, I mix lang. Um, parang dark violet. Yes. Dark. yes. Oh, so, ito na siya eh. I don't know if you can see it properly. Ayan. Ayan yung color niya. Pink na bumabay. So, Sorry, ano yun? Nag-choppy ka, ano? <laughs> Choppy ka, girl. Ayan na naman tayo. Isinasabot na rin naman tayo yung internet natin, eh, guys. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna um, place the paint on random areas on the plate. So, walang, walang pattern, walang anything. But, and then, I'm gonna add in a different color. So, pachi-pachi lang siya. I'm doing uh, small amounts lang just because I'm going to be working on a smaller, um, what do you call this? Smaller paper. And, okay. So, and then, I'm just gonna use the brayer. Tapos, Kakalat ko lang yung paint. Yeah. And then, what you can do, uh, um, before I move on to another step, I'll just show you what it looks like when ano rin na natin. I-press na natin siya sa paper. And then, I'm just gonna pull it off. Ayan na siya. Yeah, so it creates her its own, um, very, parang, own texture to it. Yung, yung and paper yung texture din? Uh, this is watercolor paper, so yes, there's wow. a bit of texture here. Uh -oh. Canon. Ayan, ayan. Yeah. Ayan. But if you look at this, kung paano siya prines, nandun din yung, ano, yung like, lines uh -oh. and all. It's right uh -oh. there. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> siyan, ready na siya. Tuyo na siya. You don't have to you don't have that much waiting time. Uh -oh. Nakailangan antayin pa na matuyo. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, and then it's a very easy way to clean up. Yeah. So now we'll do something more um uh let's say parang hindi naman advanced but more more with an effort. Uh -oh. I'm doing the project. Ano yeah. Miss Marie, mag-e-effort na tayo. <laughs> <laughs> so what you, you you should remember when it comes to um, gel press is we can actually add several layers to it. Tapos magre-reflect siya sa paper mo. Although it's a very in, unpredictable and very parang ano, um, it takes a lot of practice to kind of let your um, output come out. Mm -hmm. ng, isang, ng isang press lang on your paper. Yes. There are ways kasi na yung iba, like for me, I mix two colors already here, but I can actually add in another uh, layer of color. So let's say I just want to add in, para lang makita niya, I'll use blue so you can see the difference. Wait lang. Like for example, I just want to add in dun sa mga white spots na itong area ko. Ba't ko nga ba? Ay, mag-mix sana kasi ako niya. So, I'll just press this here. So, you can see. Yeah. And then, I'm just gonna spread it around again. Yeah. So, depending on where you lay your um, your paper, dun mo rin, dun rin babagsak yung color. So, ako gusto ko na dito siya. So, I'm just gonna put it here. Press it like that. And then, tada, diba? And then do the same thing on the other side. As pwede mo siyang tuloy tuloy na lagyan pa ng layers as you go along. So it depends on you, on how many layers you wanna put. Pero again, you, you don't have that much waiting time. Oh. Ayan. Hello, Ayin. Ayan. So, ganyan. So, one, another way you can do this, yun nga, the first one is using the um, water-based um, stamps. 
to create your art, your text, your background colors, or your, your, the backgrounds that you want to put on your papers. Another way is um, layering them one by one, the way I did. You know, parang first layer, ito muna, second layer, the blue ones on the side, you know. The other one you can do is do it all at once. So, for example, uh -oh. I'm just going to mix some colors here now. Ayan. So, what I thought of this mixing, guys, okay. please don't forget to share this live video para naman mas marami pang makanood ng ating show tonight. Dahil sobrang exciting ng ishashare ni Janos. Isa sa mga magagandang techniques ang gel press. And I feel na um, this is one of the art techniques na parang, hindi naman underrated, pero hindi siya ganun ka-famous to everybody. Kasi feeling yes. nila, it's, it's challenging. Feeling nila, mm -hmm. it's so hard to ano, apply. But no, guys, really it's not. So, dito gagana yung mga gustong makalat. <laughs> dito mm -hmm. yung mga lang maging makalat. Dito okay lang talaga you try out different layers of colors, combinations, and whatnot. Ang saya-saya. O, tinan nyo kung paano lang yun. Paano lang ni Jan. Yes, very so, random splotches lang siya ng color. You don't need to make an effort na parang, oh, tama ba tong color na nalagay ko? Tama ba na zonk siya ilagay? It's very unpredictable, pero ang ganda ng result. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add in some texture. So I have a random stamp here. Gagawin ko. Habang basa pa siya, I'll just stamp on it. Ayan. So para slowly, ayun, nagalaw ko siya, sorry. Wait lang. Ulitin. Ulitin. Uh, pag mabigat ang kabay mo talaga, medyo kailangan mo siya ulitin. So, I'm just gonna uh, pass my brayer again through it. And then, I'll press it again. Ano ba? Bakit ganito yung kamay ko? Nanginginig ako. Wait. I'll use a different one. <laughs> Hindi naman. Hindi ko alam. Okay. Hindi, dumidikit kasi yung silicone. Okay. Wait. Let's try something else. Ayan. Dito tayo sa hindi didikit sa kamay ko. Okay. So, I'm just gonna create a random splash. Um, lines lang. Like so. And then, Ayan. I'm just gonna... Brick wall. Feeling ko, this, isa sa mga designs na a must talaga na magkaroon is brick wall. <laughs> Oo. Iba kasi, di ba? Parang... Okay, so, I'm just gonna put in my... Paper. Um, paper. Tapos... Hayaan mag... Atin ko na left ko. And ta-da! Di ba? Hindi ko inexpect so, yun. <laughs> so Ang that's, ganda. That's the way you can do it. Diba? Ang ganda. Yeah. So this is, ano ah, this is technique number two for gel press. Num guys. Yes. So kanina, nag-layer-layer lang si Janos um, individual colors and then this time around with the help naman of different designs to add texture yes. to the art. Yes. Grabe, yeah. nasa ka diba? out. Na yun, pwede pakibalik. <laughs> Nandito siya. Ayan. Ako naglilinis ako. Siya, tingnan niyo muna siya. Sabi-sabi <laughs> silang ganyan. Parang nakikita. Diba? Yes. Ayan. Sabi nga dito ni Teresa, ang ganda raw. O, diba? diba? So, very, very subtle lang yung ginawa natin. Diba? Pero ang laking, ang laking impact. Ang laki ng ano, ano, upgrade. Diba? 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 Ang laki ng yes. naging upgrade niya. Sabi dito ni Vin, super love the bricks texture. Totoo talaga, feeling ko talaga, one of the nicest um, design that you have in your stash should be a brick wall. Yes. Ayan. True. Ayan. Sabi dito, so that Ayan, nagandahan din si Thea. Hi, Thea. Okay, thank Ita, you. Pa, guys. So, guys, if nagagandahan kayo sa tinuturo sa atin ni Master Janos, charot master, this essay <laughs> ni Madam, pwedeng-pwede niyong i-share ang ating live video so that um, it gets to reach more audiences. Feel free to yeah. share this with your craft, ano din, communities. Ayan. Yes. Ayan. Okay, so the next one naman is using stencils on your uh, work. Um, so yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba, ano, um, ginamit natin rubber stamps. You can actually do it with stencils on either way. Let me just show you another way you can do it. I will just mix in another color. Sige, dito na muna tayo. And then... Okay. So I'm just gonna press it again. Yeah. Ang kagandaan, when you're using the brayer, you can um, alternate between using a light pressure or a strong one para 
um, obviously, when you use a stronger pressure, mas soft yung lalabas na color. While using light pressure, mas solid yung colors na lalabas. So there. And then, um, what you can do is, kanyan, may stencil tayo. Asa na yung stencil ko? Okay. Oh. Yung mga tanong na kahit ako, mahirap din. <laughs> okay, here. Ayan. So, for example, ito, gagamitin ko siya. What you can do is, you have two ways to do this. You can either place it there oh, and then no. lift. Sorry, Mabukas ano yun? Daw si Rachel ng brick stamp. <laughs> brick, is, brick wall is love. Yeah. Thank so, you ang gawa ko, I just took um, a tissue. Ay, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. And then, plinat ko lang siya. Ganyan. Ayan. So, wet wipes ba to? Or yung dry yes. tissue? You can use dry or you can use wet wipes. So, ayan. And then, I'm just gonna lift it off. Like so. And then, pwede mong gawin on the other side. You can actually layer on another set of paint. So, I'm just gonna get this. Because... Grabe yung knee yun. Hindi ko in-expect. <laughs> Hindi ko in-expect. Ganda, no? Kala siya tignan. Insecure kasi talaga ako sa color. So guys, lesson sa atin to. Yeah. So there. So here you'll have two different results when it comes to your work. So ang gagawin ko lang. Anong kailangan yung itsura pag nasa papel na? So again guys, we're using watercolor paper, ha? Yes. Pwede rin cardstock because since it's ano naman, it's dry, considered dry na siya. Ayan. Do you notice oh. the difference between the two of them? Oh. Ba ito? Large, co solid colors ito. Parang nagkaroon ka ng sarili mong texture. Yes! Ang galing! Tapos, nag, syempre, dahil baliktad mo siya nilagay sa gel, ang naging ay babaw yung pinakahuli mong nilagay. Yes. Oh, okay. diba? Guys, yeah. alam ko, pwedeng-pwede nyo na itong gawin on your... Yes, um, it's, it's very uh, easy to do. <laughs> may nag <laughs> <laughs> Live selling. <laughs> Ayan, sabi dito ni Kao, ni Kauri, hindi pa ako tapos mag-collect ng cardstock, may bago na naman i-add to cart. OMG, kaloka, never-ending bootles. Don't worry! <laughs> dahil at least yung mga tinuturo dito sa Be Happy TV, talagang magagawa mo. You don't just buy your bootles, you actually use them. O, ba? Diba? Yes, okay. Sabi dito ni Cell, fan girl, parang lahat tayo at some point in our life. <laughs> Fan girl kay Janos ng bonggang bongga. <laughs> Sabi ni, ay, ramdam ko yung H ni Miss Gladys dito sa, ano ba? Ang ganda. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ano, nag-imagine ko yung paano siya magsalita. <laughs> ba diba? Feeling ko, guys, ano, teka lang, iti-check ko lang yung website kung meron pang stock ng gel press kasi mukhang magkakaubusan ng gel press tonight. Okay, so while, um, while we while i've shown you that now let's try doing it on uh, a more a larger scale gagawin natin sa journal so tatabi ko lang to sa glit and then i will get my journal i'm gatabi muna ako ng gamit <laughs> kalat na ng gamit ko wait lang <laughs> okay so i'm just going to set aside my stamps and the paint so kunin ko na si um journal so you can use again you can use any journal <laughs> master jones in else thank you marie <laughs> Okay, so you can, um, again, you can use any any journal that you have as long as may gesso. Kung wala, you can always go for um, white cardstock or uh, what do you call this? Um, watercolor paper like we used a while ago. Yes, uh, from Judy's question. Okay, late ako. Pwede ba siyang i-combine with texture paste? Um, yes, you can. I will show that here. Ito, ito yung example ko kanina. Ginamit ako siya ng texture paste after. Ayan. But um, when it comes to mismo dun sa gel press, obviously, the texture is there. Hindi siya ganun kasolid, lalo na kung ibibrayer mo siya. Kasi syempre, mapipisa siya, ganun. But, Ayan, kita um... kamagod na ako, Janos. Kasi <laughs> hey, out of stock na yung 3x5 na gel press. Ang bilis naman. <laughs> so, ang natin na lang guys na gel press ay ang ating 6x6 na square ang ating circle na 6 inches and then meron din tayong 4 inches na circle ay meron pa tayong 12 by 12 na gel press and of course ang hard rubber na ano natin brayer 
pang gel press. Gosh, guys, go and check it out na. Kasi yung mga ganitong <laughs> session ni Janus pagbalik. Pero guys, antayin nyo. Antayin nyo yung code. Kasi may bibigay na code si Janus. Sayang naman. Janus, sinord mo na. Ay, grabe kasalanan ko. Agad para kasalanan ko. <laughs> <laughs> Ang bilis. <laughs> Bakit kasalanan ko? Ayan, guys, dinan nyo. Don't be afraid to be messy. Use your hands. Dinan nyo. Dali-dali yes. rin lang talaga ang labanan dito. Yes. Uh, uh, pero ang totoo niya, tinatamad na ako mo ng brush. Ayoko magugas mamaya. Pero you can use your hands. You can use a brush. <laughs> Aminin ko na yun. <laughs> so I'm just using one side, but you can always use both. Uh, you can cover the whole journal if you like. Um, mm-hmm. Siguro ang gagawin ko dito um, When it comes to creating my journal spread Kasi what I do is Lagi ako may space in the middle To write down Like for example ako diba, If you notice here Heavy lang on one side yung design ko So I have time uh, I have like space to write on later Dito sa part na to mm-hmm. So um, it depends on how You want your journal spread to come out yung iba kasi gusto nila buong, buong journal spread yung ano nila yung buong journal mo yung lalagyan mo ng design so for that if you wanna use the whole gel press technique ng isang bagsakan you have to use the 12 by 12 for this one pero first me ako naman very ano lang na kasi ako subtle lang naman yung um yung design na gagawin ko hindi naman overall malalagyan so I'm just putting some here and then a little bit on this side yes Ayan. So, it depends on you. Depends din rin kung anong uh, gel press yung matitira ng mabibili mo. <laughs> Ayan. So, so, refresh lang natin yung room para sa mga bago. Ano nga ulit, Janos, ang laman ng squeegee? Yung bottle na ginag... Na, yeah. So, my um, bottle is filled with um, clear gesso. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, ginaga... Uh, I, sorry, go. Ayan, so what Janet is doing right now is pina-prime lang niya yung journal niya para maging yes. ready sa pag ano, sa pagtanggap ng mga kulay. Ayan. Yes. So what I do is um ba- bakit clear gesso yung ginagamit ko because if you notice yung paper ko, it's um it's not white, 'di ba? O ano siya parang medyo cream siya. So this way, uh yung ano man yung design na gagawin ko, it's protected na hindi tatagos yung yung colors and the paint, hindi siya mag-bleed on the other end. It's protecting my um, pages, but at the same time, hindi rin, hindi nawawala sa sa color nung, or yung, hindi nawawala yung original color ng paper. But if you have white gesso, okay lang din yun. You can kind of coat the whole thing para medyo mag-balance out lang yung color nung, nung uh, journal nyo with, uh, with, your, with your gesso. And so, kinover ko lang siya. And just to be sure that everything is coated. Yeah. So, ako sinismear ko lang siya. If you're unsure kung okay na yung, ano nyo, yung gesso nyo, you can add another coat. Pero ako, I'm, I think I'm good. So, I'm just gonna use my heat gun para mag-dry. Yeah. So, take away any rubber stamps that you have na baka matunaw. I remember kasi may ginawa ako. Busy lang ako mag-heat gun. Nasa tabi to. Tapos pinatungan ko siya. Natunaw yung ano. Natunaw yung <laughs> yung rubber. Ang mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sad. <laughs> okay. So I'm just um, going to dry this up. Pwede rin blower kung wala kayong heat gun. Blower lang okay or whether rin um let it air dry and yeah i'm just using a uh, heat gun right now para lang mabilis tayo o kung di kayo nagmamadali let it air dry again actually ako prefer ko mag air dry kasi mas natural hindi siya mas, hindi siya basta basta nagbabakel if you see kapag gumamit ka ng ano nagbabakel talaga siya hindi siya na hindi siya maiiwasan kapag gumagamit ka ng um heat so, Ayan, o oh, diba? So that's really guys how you prime your journals or your paper okay. na non-watercolor. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take back my um my plate. Tapos, gagawin ko ngayon, I'm going to um 
start uh, adding textures to the paper. So ang gagawin ko lang, if you're also very OC about your pages, pwede ka maglagay ng paper sa ilalim. Ayan. Para lang hindi ma masmear yung, yung other pages. Lalo pa pag um, katulad nyo, nyo ako na mabigat yung kamay. <laughs> Okay, so let's try creating our um, design. So what I want to do is kind of tame down my pink. I'm just going to use some white. I'm going to mix it with some white. So you can, um, yung liquid text ang ganda rin na to kasi talaga sobrang, sobrang, ano, very opaque siya. Tapos, um, konti lang yung kailangan mo for it. Tapos, oh, ano na siya? Yeah. Sorry, ano yun? Choppy, Parang, choppy ka dahil. <laughs> sabi na naman ako. Sabi ko, <laughs> uy. Sabi ko, choppy. Ayan. Sabi ko na nga, uy. Wag, walang usapang timbang. <laughs> Ayun. Uh, anyway, what I was saying is, ano nga, ano siya? parang very very concentrated na siya so you compare to if you're go if you're thinking of investing in acrylic paints i do suggest you go for artist grade like uh, liquitex kasi um compare mo sa using student grade yung layers of paint that you need to use is a lot more compared to using artist grade kasi nga hindi ganun ka ano yung colors and of course, available yan sa ating Be Happy website. So, yes. guys, just check out whatever colors that you need. Meron, meron tayo yan. Kinikarry yes. natin ng brand na Liquitex. Ayan. At mukha namang yeah. marami pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, kasi, kasi, guys, sorry talaga if, if kunwari, ginagamit namin yung material, yung product here on the live, and then biglang kapag mag-check out na kayo, boom! Out of Wala stock. Na. <laughs> Hindi Tawad siya. Po. Pero mabilis talaga kasi fast moving talaga yung mga gantong klaseng consumables. So, ayan. Okay. Parang ako yung na me Parang feeling ko gusto kong ano, yung yung mga paint na napupunta dun sa briar. Parang gusto ko pa rin siyang gamitin. <laughs> oh, yung iba ginagamit nila like for example if you have like extra papers you can kind of roll it there tapos mm -hmm. yung ginagawa nila ano gugupitin nila to they stamp on it and then uh, um, gagamitin for it's part of the project I'll show you later Saka, ayan nililayer ko na siya parang ephemera din siya no parang ephemera yes. o oh, kaya extra so, sheet ginagawa nila ganun siya uh oo -oh. Ayan, so di ba, ang ganda pa rin siya kahit ano lang, kahit extra paint na lang yung gamitin na. So anyway, I'm gonna get, take this and yeah. then, wait, nasa yung stamp ko. I'm gonna take the stamp. Yung distress oxides po para maka-check out ulit. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes in our live, I think we can now reveal our code. So Janos, ano okay. nga ang code natin for this evening? <laughs> Ayan. So our code for this evening when you check out at our website is Gel Press Fun. It gives you 10% off on Gel Press Supplies, Acrylic Paints, and Stencil. Idagdag na rin natin ang mga rubber stamps kasi ginagamit din natin yon tonight. So don't worry guys, included na rin po ang rubber stamps if mag-check out kayo. Allow me to pili-pili. <laughs> Tingnan na yan natin kung may bricks. Kung may brick na ano, stamp. Baka sakaling may mabudol tayo. Charot. <laughs> yung mga brick okay. wall. Ayan. Yes. If you notice, ayan. Very patchy lang yung ginawa ko. Ayan. You guys, out of stock. Out of stock. Sorry na po. Tawarin niyo po kami. Tawarin niyo kami. Out of stock na rin yung brick wall. Ba't ang bilis? Pati ako nagulat, eh, no? Di bali, guys. Don't worry. Gagawa natin ng paraan na makapag-ano tayo niya. Na makapag-resta tayo. Kasi alam ko talaga, yan yung mga designs talaga na hinahanap-hanap ng mga people. Yeah. Okay, 
So I'm set I'm setting aside lang the jumpers and then uh, we we'll move on. Out of this <laughs> Out of girl. Sorry. Magalala, ilalagay natin yan. Ire-request natin yan sa mga anghel sa Be Happy. Paki, paki PO, guys. <laughs> Patawad po. Okay, anyway. Um, so, I'm just cleaning lang the stamps like that. Okay. Ayan. So, after you use, make sure just to soak it in soap and water lang. If you wanna preserve yung stamps nyo. Pero kaya naman siya tanggalin kahit wipes lang muna. Okay. So, while we're waiting for this to dry, medyo makapaling ginawa ka. I'm gonna do the other side. So Ang again, ganda. if you wanna order. Ayan. So this is what it looks like. I just wanna show you a close-up of it. And I keep the new texture, right? Diba? Yes. Tapos ang bilis niyang matuyo. Yes. So parang few minutes lang tuyo na siya. Pwede mo siyang hawakawakan, himasimari. <laughs> Tanong dito si Miss Marie, is yes. it easy to clean the gel press plate? Kasi yes. Yung, yung Ayan, mga... if you notice, yung mga OC. <laughs> yung, yung mga... mga... Mm -mm. Ayan. So, um, what you'll need is, ganyan, ganyan, ginagawa ko initially, I, I use wet wipes to clean it. Tapos, pwede mo lang siya isoap in water later. As ano, matatanggal naman agad yung ano, yung mga to. Napipeel off mo yung any excess paints that you have. But of course, if you're using staining materials like si Ranger, ito, pag ginamit mo si Archival, ano, magsistain to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest that it will stain. So, be care, be, care, be cautious lang if you don't want it to be dirty. Um, if you want it na parang kahit mukha, mukha pa rin siyang bago kahit na walang gamit ka na you, you stay away from materials that are staining yeah. and guys yeah. notice ko kung paano tinakpan ni Janus yung page ba? Yes, so ganun lang talaga maglagay lang kayo ng Ladies open button sa likod para if ever hindi naman talaga kasi syempre lalagpas at lalagpas at some point yung, design, yung color sa gilid yes. so kailangan meron kayong sasalo o oh, ba? Okay, so next, uh, we'll do the same technique again on this side naman, just a little bit to kind of balance out the design. Okay. Okay. Nga lang, if, if, you're, if you're a little concerned na masyadong daming ginagamit na wipes, you can use um, a rag, an old rag or an old shirt na hindi nyo ginagamit to, uh, to clean your, ano, Space or the rest of the CR, I don't know. So it's a sink clean. Okay, so I'm just getting another set of the colors, like so. Yeah, and adding in a little bit of blue. Hindi ko talaga in expect yung ano yung neon na ganyan pala yung effect niya. Ang ganda, ang ganda talaga. Okay, then I'm just gonna okay, and then gonna add in the brick again. Wait, lang, medyo makapal pa yung ano ko ko dito. Okay, there. All right, and then I'm going to stamp it on. By the way, you don't need to do it the way I did na pabalik ta, ba? Ito yung ginagamit ko to uh, mm -hmm. press on. You can do the other way around that pinakita ko na the, the plate is on your table. Thus, ito yung ginagamit mo to press on it. Mm -hmm. ginagawa ko lang to because I want to see how it looks like. Kung saan siya magupress to. So, you can all do it the other way around naman. So, there. So, I have my initial... Um, my, my initial background, if you, if you notice, they were very edgy, very, you know, 
Parang splash-splash talaga siya. Oh, yes, it's just a splash of color, pero ang impact, ang ganda na nung impact niya. <laughs> Sabi ni Gladys, bakit ikaw gumagamit ng neon colors ang ganda? <laughs> Hindi natin ko namang sagot sa, sa ano na yan, tanong na yan. Sabi dito ni Rachel, ganda niya. Just had the idea to try this in scrapbooking or personalized letters. Yes. No? Yes, guys. Ooh, pwede-pwede niyo siyang gawin ng different, ano, different um, mediums, kumbaga. Yes. Do you use a specific brayer for the gel plate or any brayer will do? Yung willing um, na dumihan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, sinagot niya na yung sasabihin ko. Alin yung gusto mo madumihan? <laughs> Pero yun nga, yung companion na uh, bear from um, gel press is, ano, syempre, mas ideal kasi nga um, it, it already sets yung kung ano yung needs nung yung plate mo. Kasi yung baka mas um, pag yung brayer ng cricut yung ginamit mo. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, sinususugal. Ang yaman mo naman, no? <laughs> Parang ang sakit sa puso. Tapos, syempre, madudumihan na siya. <laughs> di, di ako maka-decide ng gel press na i-check out ko. Tutulungan kita mag-decide, Miss Gladys. For me, yung pinakamalaki. Tapos, isang shape. Kasi maganda yung round, eh. Oo, Para perfect. yung round, ang um, perfect na nun. Lilalagay mo na lang siya, like, for example... Uh, meron kang, let's say, 6 by 6 na paper. Tapos, mm-hmm. yung center niya, di ba? Para meron ka na agad artwork. Tapos, frame mo na lang yun. Tapos, na siya na. Di ba? So, kung baga, Miss Gladys, kailangan mo talaga, ano, mandatory yung square. Pagkatapos, mandatory yung circle. Kasi, <laughs> kung mo pareho kinuha, magsisisi ka lang. <laughs> Oo. Yun po yun, yun. Dalawa na lang yung prayer sa website. <laughs> Bakit ang bilis, guys? Dahil ba ni-reveal na namin yung code? Biglang naubos. Parang kanina apat pa yun. <laughs> okay, yeah. so... Pero maganda talaga, maganda talaga yung brayer na gamit ni, ano, ni Janus. Actually, the first time I've heard of um gel press is with Ian. Sa kanya ko unang mm. nag-sipper ang, ang, ano, ang gel press. Mm. Ayan, oh, nandito na rin pala si Ian. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian na nga. Hello, Ian. <laughs> Kakaisip mo lang, biglang lumabas. <laughs> <laughs> Nakaramdam daw siya. <laughs> Sabi ni Miss Gladys, grabe sa mandatory. <laughs> Ganun talaga, kasi kapag kukuha ka, tapos hindi rin naman yun yung kompleto, ma- malulungkot ka lang. So, dapat, sabi nga ni Maine, nasa huli naman ang pagsisisi. So, bilhin mo na. Bilhin mo na. Nasa huli naman. Tapos <laughs> pagsisi ka na lang, ma'am. <laughs> Mamaya ka na lang magsisi. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just gonna get my black ink, uh, black archival ink. Tapos, yeah. magdadali na tayo ng added texture dito. Okay. So, this so, time, sa so mismong page ka na mag-layer, eh? Yes. Pwede ka na mag-layer doon. So, again, you can use the same techniques we did earlier na parang um, mag-stamp ka na, mag, mag, maglagay ka na extra layer as you want. So, um, you have the freedom to do it. Ang galing ng ato. <laughs> Galing kay mga pin yan. Kaya oh. natin na- yung mga kating advice galing kong sa ano natin, sa top one. <laughs> sa top one, mamubudol. Pagdating sa pambubudol. <laughs> yung tipong hindi naman yun yung pinag-uusapan, magugulat ka na wrong send na si, ano, si main. Di ba oh, pala yung binubudol? <laughs> guys, di namin alam kung ano, kung may, may ano din ba siya, may connection din siya pati sa mga appliances sa bahay. <laughs> Kasi pati aircon, nakakabudol siya, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, o oh, di ba ang ganda ng ang ganda talaga ng kinalalabasan ng ano, ng effect ng gel press. Hindi ko akalain na ganoon siya. Kasi alam mo, tinray ko 'yang gawin yung technique na ginagawa mo ngayon, Janus, na nilalagay ano. Ginawa ko siya on acrylic. Tapos uh-huh. hindi ko siya hindi ko makuha yung effect na na parang crisp siya sa acrylic uh-huh. kasi kapag sa acrylic block mo siya ginamit ang magiging itsura niya, yung parang pachi-pachi, yung kapag, halimbawa, di ba yung paint, pag hinawakan mo siyang ganun, tapos tinaas mo yung kamay mo, yung... Mm-mm. Ah, nagsismear siya. Oo. Oh. So, syempre, dahil acrylic yun, ganun nga naman yung kain niya dun sa pintura. 
So, mm-hmm. the best um, way talaga is to use gel press. Kung gusto yes. nyo na anong classic effect. Kung Hala! Hold out daw yung briar. <laughs> Guys, sorry na. Sorry, ma. <laughs> Ang bilis. Oo nga eh. Ma, sorry, ma. Meron pa naman daw po yung maliit. Ay, kamot mo. Nabitawan ko tuloy. Papatawa ko. Okay. <laughs> so, ako nag-aad lang ako. nag lang ako ng texture. Nagamitin mo eh. Guys, may... Ah, may natitira pa yung 6 inches. Ang sold out na kasi is yung 4 inches. Go na kayo sa malaki, guys. 6 inches na to. Ay, na briar. <laughs> Ayan, meron pa tayong natitira. Meron pa. Ay, may pag-asa pa, guys. Yung gel, bri- yung gel briar natin na maliit, yung 2.25 inches, meron pa tayong stock. Ayan, pwedeng pwede nyo pa. Parehas din naman siya. It's just that mas maliit yun. Okay na yeah. ba yung 6 inches na circle gel plate? Yes. And <laughs> what else do I need? Chamber <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gladys, kailangan mo din ng paint. <laughs> yes. Liquitex. <laughs> Saka Zesto, Zesto guys. Yes, yes. Pwede din po yung dis- dislutions na gel printing dryer. Kasi maliit nga lang siya. 2.25 lang siya. That's actually the one I have. Ayan. So Ayan. I'm just adding in a few textures lang. Gusto ko lang siya madagdagan pa. But again, it's a technique that you can use on the um, the gel press din. Yun nga lang, pabaliktad siya. It's lifting instead of pressing on the um, the colors. Mm-hmm. And so, so this is how my um, what do you call this? My spread looks like so far. As again, <laughs> syempre, ayaw natin ma-waste yung mga kinamit natin kanina. We're going to layer it on top of what we've done here. We have a question here from Glad- from Miss Gladys. Pwede ba grit paste instead of gesso? Um, Okay lang din. Yun nga lang. Baka, because grit paste has already parang body na, di ba? Hindi. Or is this, is this the smooth one? Pag yung medyo grainy na and has texture already, there's a tendency na pag nilagay mo yung gel press mo, it might also have the, siguro effect din with the watercolor Mm-mm. paper. ba Magkakaroon siya ng extra texture or merong hindi kakapit. I see. Ayun, so grainy siya, ba So okay. if it's very um parang high peak, high parang medyo parang ma-texture talaga and very bumpy. There's a tendency na medyo hindi lahat nung nasa nasa plate mo didikit on the on the surface ganun. Okay. So next, I'm I'm going to I'm going to work on these. Gagamitin ko siya to create um other elements on my spread. What I'm going to do is just use some stamps again. I'm just going to get some. Wait lang. So, ano na yung ginagamit kung iso? Yan yung mga tanong na, na mahirap sagutin, Mari. <laughs> Nasaan na? Kasi <laughs> Nasaan ka na? Ayun na sa gilid. Okay. Meron pa po, available pa po ang ating brayer na 6 inches. Teka, i-refresh ko lang guys. Kasi nung huling refresh ko, dalawa na lang eh. Ayan, may available pa po tayo na gel press hard rubber. 6 inches po yung size niya. Ayan, available pa po yan. And then meron naman tayong ibang brand, yung maliit na 2.25 inches, yung Delusions Gel Printing Briar. Yung color, ano, color violet siya sa website. Ayan, parang pumipink na bumabiolet. Basta iron. So what I'm going to do with the extra ones that we did a while ago, eh, gagamitin ko naman siya to layer on to my um, spread. So it's okay if you use a contrasting color, okay then para magpop siya. Ako mahilig lang talaga ako sa monochromatic. So um, 
I tend to stick with what colors I already use. Okay, yeah. so, so I'm just gonna cut this one. I'm using my Shempre si, tr si Trusty Tim Holtz. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna cut this. Bilisan ko lang guys, ah, sorry. Okay. So it's up to you if you wanna um, have it dikit na dikit dun sa line, or you can leave a little bit of white space. So other ways you can use your gel press is if you, yung kanina nga they mentioned the, the scrapbook, uh, and scrapbooking. If you remember my last episode na pinaint natin yung cardstock, di ba? You can create backgrounds with um, your your gel press with the same um, approach na ginawa ko. So instantly meron ka ng sarili mong background. Ay, yan ako, pasikat si Madam. <laughs> pasikat is life talaga, guys. Wait lang. Ayan, para sa mga bago dito, isa sa mga technique na natutunan ko pagdating sa pagpapasikat, yung pinapakita sa atin ngayon ni Janus, wherein she is moving the paper instead of yung gunting. So guys, i-disclaimer ko na rin, yung ginagamit niya ngayon na gunting, out of stock po. <laughs> Out of the Tim Holtz po yan. Nag-twinning po kami yan eh. Ito yung time na parang hindi tayo mapakali na wala pa siya. Tapos oh, nagkaroon, okay. talagang kumaripas kami yung dalawa na, ah, bumuli ka na. Tamay mo na ako. At ang point nun dahil sa tin ka na lalagyan. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just cutting each one long. Yes. So, as you can see, parang very simple lang naman yung ginawa nating spread. Pero, di ba, um, I think it, it's already very inspiring. It's something you can work on. Na if, you, if you're kind of feeling blank on what to put on your journals, di ba? It's very, it's very, ano na, parang attractive. Tapos parang motivate ka na nasulatan mo na siya. Or yung iba, hindi mamomotivate kasi sabihin nila, pangit yung sulat ko, baka hindi ko na, baka ayoko, baka masira ko lang. Ayaw. Grabe sa, sa the, mag motivate <laughs> May iba ka pa bang item na ilalabas para sabay sa minutes? <laughs> well, uh, fin ko meron na naman kayo. Oh, already in stock na pala guys. Already in stock na po yung Tim Holtz na scissors. Oh my gosh. Available so, na po. Guys, go na. Kasi nung last live natin, di ba, out of stock siya. So, ayan, kinoment mm. na ng ating mga, ayan na nga, which one na Tim Holtz? Yung 6 inches po, ayan na po, yung haberdashery scissors. Oh my God. Yan po, ang ganda talaga niya. I mean, no joke. Hindi naman po namin intention na mambudol talaga tonight. Gusto lang namin ipakita kung paano po namin ginagamit yung mga nabili po namin na mga items din sa Be Happy. So, yes. pag ano na lang po, pag, pag pikit na lang po tayo, pag ayaw po nila matudol. <laughs> or kaya kung meron na kayo, di ba, o oh, pwede mo, or kahit pala pa, pwede mo mga ganyan yung, na ano, na tama. Kung gusto niyo justify, i justify yan. Kung gusto niyo po i-add sa ano niyo, sa mga 27 scissors niyo, ayan, pwede pwede yan. Pero ang ganda okay. kasi niya pang fuzzy cut Tsaka comfortable yes. sa daliri Just like, pero okay. ano Ang favorite ko talaga na scissors Na ginagamit is yung We Are Memory Keepers Yung may spring Ay, yung oo mm -mm. Yun ang gustong gusto ko pang fuzzy cutting Kasi hindi siya, hindi na iipit yung thumb ko Kasi medyo may, may kalakihan So <laughs> So, pag medyo may kalakihan yung thumb mo, medyo isa yun sa mga bagay na ano, challenge pag nagpa-pasikat. So, ayan. O, di ba Ang galing. So, wala talagang tapon sa lahat ng gagaw gagamitin. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Feeling ko po, live selling, ang bilis po mag-mine. Gaganda po kasi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ako, sir. Ito po yan. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna layer it here. So just keep in mind that na kajeso kayo. So may ten ang tendency nito. Um, you'll need to press down or use a more heavy, heavy duty glue. Of Say, course, ito, medyo matagal siyang ano. Alins na yan. Yes. So, kung yung ordinary all-purpose glue lang, baka hindi siya basta-basta dumikit. So, you kind of need to press on it a little bit. Tatawanan mo ko, Mari. Lately ko lang na na-find out yung tungkol sa ano. Sa, lately ko lang na laman yung alins na nakiglu na nakapen. Ang mm -hmm. ganda pa niya. Kasi, Maliit lang yung nozzle, tapos syempre handheld mo lang siya na parang ball pen. So, ang dali niya yes. i-apply and everything. As nire-refillan ko na True. lang siya. <laughs> ang ganda, in fairness. Oo. Ito nga, hindi ko, hindi ko pa nalipat eh. Meron akong malaki dyan na hindi ko pa nalilipat dun sa, uh, sa pen. Oo. Okay. Syempre, dahil okay. na-excite ako sa ginagawa mo, Mars, meron na rin akong paggagawa ngayon habang pinapanood kita. <laughs> May pang-crack crack na ng C6 na nagaganap. Okay. Naririnig ko nga eh. Akala ko kanina may bumagsak. So yung pala yung ginagawa mo. Ay, hindi. Nagka-crack na tayo ng C6 kasi nga pine-prepare na natin yung ipa-prime natin na paper mamaya. Ayun, that's, a, that's another thing you can do if you have like um, pieces of die cut, die cut mat, uh, na papers, na pa papers na na-die cut nyo na. Pwede nyo siyang i-ano sa gel press. Like, for example, yung mga leaves na ganito, mag-ano na kayo ng taito, ng mga... Yes. Parang hindi na kayo mag-fussy cut. <laughs> mm -mm. O, oh, diba? <laughs> okay, so, so I'm gonna add in... I'm just gonna add in another element lang. Just to give it a... <laughs> ano daw po ulit ang code. Ito po, i-reveal po ulit natin. Ang code natin for this evening is gel press fun. And if you check out sa ating behappy.ph, ay, behappyph.com, you get to have 10% off on gel press supplies, acrylic paints, stamps, and stencil when you check out. So, yan lamang po ang code na gagamitin ninyo, guys. Grabe, exciting talaga yung gantong project. At alam mo yung aha moment ko doon sa sinample mo mare na hanggang ngayon hindi ako makaget over yung brick wall <laughs> yung pag mm -hmm. I mean hindi ko na hindi ko na isip na na may, may ganong texture na magaganap pag ginamit pala siya on ano on gel press mm -hmm. and uh, in fairness di ba instant na tsaka hindi ka na ano um bawas din kasi siya sa time on layering ng manual lang oo na instead diba? of instead of isa stamp mo yung brick wall kumbaga kasama na siya doon okay. sa ano sa paint oh, tas kung gusto mo yung effect na parang pa like the one we did kanina na yung wala tayo yung what do you call this para siyang pop na white Diba? Oh, okay. Parang puti-puti lang siya. Siyempre, para magawa mo yun, it's either you paint it, stamp it with white, or use em embossing. Diretso na siya na meron ng effect. So, wait lang. I'm just going to add in some details on this piece. So, ang ginagawa ko na lang ngayon is um, making use of the items that we did earlier. Mas idadagdag ko lang siya as design on my, um, on my spread. Yeah. Actually, you can actually you can stop now with just the background. Pero ako mahilig nga kasi ako maglayer, so oh, lagi ako na added. Yung composition talaga ni Janus ganon. Magaling siya para tayong sa layering mga compositions channeling. Yen yung yeah. force talaga niya. May hindi siya magpatong patong. <laughs> Ayan. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in some lines. So ang gamit ko lang naman very ano lang any brush pen, random brush pen lang. So, ina-outline ko lang siya dito. You can skip this one. Mahilig lang talaga ako mag-again. Adding more details and all that. So, it's up to you. Ginaganyan. Tinatrace ko lang siya ng konti. Very loosely. Doesn't have to be parang dikit na dikit dun sa ano. Mm -hmm. So, design.
Ayan, so for those of you who are trying to check out, teka lang ha, double check lang natin yung ating code. Ayan, pero yun talaga yan. Okay. So there. So if you notice, parang dinalagdagan ko lang siya na parang shadows and effects. Ha! <laughs> Hello, sabi ng rider. Ano po yun, ma'am? Nalito na ako sa mga... Ayan, nagumutaytas. Natanong tuloy sa grab yung ano, ink pad. Sabihin ko tayo mag-chat ng ink pad. Hindi po sa grab. <laughs> okay. So I like adding sentiments on my uh, work. So what I'm going to do is just use my Motex. So let's say. Um, Uy, gustong gusto ko yan. Yung clear na Motex yan, no? Mm -mm. Yung text yes. yan. Ako rin. Keep. I'm just gonna add a phrase. Keep creating. Ako akala nyo, guys, white yan. Hindi yan white. Clear talaga yan. Oo, oh, clear siya. Ayan. Mas mga ASMR nung paglipat-lipat ng letters. <laughs> For those of you na walang label maker, okay. of course, you can um, use naman your ephemeras. O kaya baka meron na rin kayo ng bagong product natin here sa Be Happy, yung ating printer. Yung handheld printer natin. Ay, oo. Oh, oh, yes. Diba? Okay, so I'm just removing this and then I'm gonna... Stick it onto my spread. Ayan. O di ba clear talaga siya? Tas yung champre yung letters niya white. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of lines. Yan, o de ba? Yeah. So de ba, very simple lang yung ginawa natin, but it's very ano na. Malakas yung the full artwork niya. Mm -hmm. Oh, de ba? O de ba ang ganda? Yeah. So there are Mas a lot of different ways you can do it. Yeah. Yes, po. Meron po yung tape na ginagamit po ni Janos. Yes. This is the Motex label maker. So, pwedeng-pwede po kayo mag-check out niyan. Sabi dito ni Christine, super ganda. Thank you, thank you po. Thank you. Ah, ako talaga ang gawain, no? Makapag-thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, if nagagandahan kayo sa ginagawa ni Janus, please follow Janus on Facebook and Instagram kung hindi pa. Okay? Ang kanyang handle ay JV Erudite Artist. Or, and then, of course, her YouTube channel, which is the Air, the Erudite Artist. And, of course, on TikTok, ayan na nga, Erudite Artist din. And, of course, meron din siyang Shopee, guys. Pwedeng-pwede kayo mag-check out ng kanyang mga gawa, ng kanyang mga products on Shopee. Yes. Ayan. So, once again, guys, pwedeng-pwede na kayo mag-check out. Please don't forget to use our code for this evening, which is Gel Press Fun. Okay, okay na po yung code for checkout. So, recap lang natin what we learned today. Okay. Hi. So, yeah. Ano mo? Medyo nagpo-pause ako kasi kanina pa tayo nag-overlap. So, pero medyo tumatay yung makeup. Okay. All right. So, um, what we did today was doing gel press. So, ang ang different gel press techniques that we did is the first one is using water-based materials like uh, distress distress oxide or other um um other inks na water-based that you can just spray on your 
on your on the plate and then um layer your uh, place your paper on on top of it and you get to create soft watercolor washes with um na effortless lang and then another one you can do is um um using the brayer and some acrylic paints and then blending your colors onto the plate and creating different um backgrounds and the next one is using is using the, the second technique along with um rubber stamps or stencils to create the the your your artworks so ayun pala nakalimutan kong gawin is the layer ng paglalayer ng uh, what do you call it, stencils Yo. another thing you can do is i think we did this from the last episode where we used um the Aline's glitter snow yeah so again mahilig kasi ako sa texture so minsan lag lag kung dinalagyan nilalagyan you can also use it on the the gel press plate kanina that we showed where you can kind of either lift the color or um press into a press another um new color onto it yeah so there yeah so parang pwede mo lang dagdagan ng konting textures pa and that's it so you can create a lot of different things to do with, with just simple um, materials, uh, just such as the gel press. Pero yun nga, um, pwede nyo gawin kung marami, marami na kayo acrylic paints. Tapos, um, bumili na lang kayo nito. Tapos sabihin nyo, justify nyo lang na. <laughs> Tinuruan nyo. No? Justify nyo lang na, ano, eh, eh, dito ko kasi gagamitin yung mga oh, ano, paints. Ko. Ayan. So may tanong dito si Sol, anong tool ang ginamit para sa sentiments? So actually, Motex Label Maker po ito. Label, yeah. In clear tape. Maraming colors ang tapes ni Motex actually. Favorite ko yung metallic and then pastel. Yes. Kasi meron okay. din siya yung kasing talagang color ni ano eh. Color talaga ng your memory keepers. Yung pagkatil mm -hmm. niya. Mm -mm. Ay, Ay oo, ang ganda nun. Check out. Thank you so much. O, oh, ba Guys, so wag niyong kalilimutan. What we learned today is all about gel press. And kung paanong hindi tayo magiging insecure whenever we play with acrylics. Kita-kita yes. nyo naman sa so napaka-konti lang na colors ng acrylic na ginamit ni Janos. Ang ganda na ng splashes of colors on the design. Pili ko yes. mapapacheck out din ako ng Liquitex na clear gel kasi mas maganda nga naman siya compared kapag hindi white yung paper na ginagamit. Mm -mm. Ayan. So guys, thank you so much for joining us for this evening. Ayan, I hope marami kayong natutunan na styles na pwede nyong gamitin as an add-on to your journaling. Kita yes. nyo naman sa design right now na pinapakita ni Janos, di ba? Ayan, ang legendary takpak. Guys, the splatter. Ang pagsasplatter ng ink. Yan yung mga tatak Janos na ano eh, favorite natin. <laughs> o, di ba? Yes. It adds attitude and kumbaga depth to your design. Oh, diba? Ayan, so Janus, yes. invite them again to your next episode. So, thank you again for joining us today. And I hope we get to see you guys next month, um, April. We are going to be doing another uh, fun activity. So, I hope um, you guys join us there as well. So, we'll, we'll keep you posted on the next schedule. And uh, have a good night. Thank you. Yes, everybody. Happy weekend. So, maraming maraming salamat for joining us for another episode here at Be Happy TV, your favorite source of budol. Charot! <laughs> Dito sa Be Happy TV, tuturuan namin kayo kung paano nyo talaga i-maximize ang inyong mga hinuhoard na mga products. Kasi hindi pwedeng hoard-hoard lang and walang use-use na managaganap, di ba? Tomorrow, join us again for another episode here at Be Happy TV together with Maker Main, wherein she will share with us an amazing technique on how naman to level up your sticker gaming. You guys, tomorrow, stickers ang topic, and it's all about cricket and foiling. So excited tayo dyan dahil matututo na naman tayo ng iba't-ibang techniques pagdating sa 
paggamit ng ating mga machines. So, we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, sorry, Sunday pala, guys. Sunday si Ming. 13. Okay. Uh, our episode with Maker Main is on March 13 at 2 p.m. Isa na lang ang stock ng brayer. So, kung sino ka man na gustong bumili, i-check out mo na yan. Thank you so much for everyone who joined us this evening. And guys, pala, before I totally let you go, syempre, pa-announce natin kung sino ang lucky winner. Diyan, oops, ng ating 300 pesos. Shinare nyo na ba? Please be sure if you have already shared this live video on Facebook and be sure na nakapublic siya. Because if hindi siya nakapublic, hindi namin makikita yung post ninyo. And you will miss your opportunity to be one of the ano, entries para sa ating raffle for this evening. So once again, our raffle will entitle you to a 300 peso coupon kung saan pwede nyong ipang check out, guys. So imagine, parang papatak half the price na yung briar na yan. So go na kung sino ka man na nag-share. Sino kaya ang ating lucky sharer for this evening? Wait a minute, wait a minute. At niroroleta natin siya. Ayan, kausapin mo muna sila, Janos, dahil naglo-load ang aking roleta. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys have any other question, you can always um, message us or comment on this post. And like I said, um, um, I always want to be able to help you guys maximize your the materials you have. Because um, let's face it, when we started um, crafting, de ba? Uh, ano natin? Parang very very conscious tayo sa mga gusto nating itry na mga mga products like oh si ganito um she's recommending this so obviously you're gonna kind of wanna buy it and um at this point i feel like a lot of you have already medyo mga na imbak na yung mga pinagbibili nyo so um through the 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 be happy tv you you get to be able to kind of maximize use whatever tools that you already have and then sure na introduce tayo sa new tools that you can also use along with what you already have so i go i hope you guys kind of um use whatever you you learned today or in the other episodes para diba para 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 tayong ano para para tayong nakaka-discover ng mga ano ng mga mga crafts there Ayan, alright. At dahil dyan, meron na tayong winner for, after, for para sa ating 300 pesos coupon that you get to use for our website. So, congratulations to, oh my gosh, drum roll. <laughs> congratulations to Rachel Grasa. Rachel Grasa de Monte. Ayun, congratulations Rachel. Please message us here on Facebook. Nandito ka pa ba? Are you still with us, Rachel? Pagalawin mo ang baso. <laughs> and dito ka pa ba sa lang? <laughs> Ayan. So I hope, Rachel, you get to see this. You won. You guys, panalo ka. Baby friend nyo siya. Pakitag. So ayan, we hope, we hope na you get the winner prize. So once again, ganito tayo lagi dito sa Be Happy. Ang uh, gusto lang talaga namin, kaya namin ginawa itong Be Happy TV so that we can give back to you. So we hope to see you on our next episodes. And please share this with your friends. Para naman kahit sila, mabless din naman sa mga matututunan nila sa ating mga sharer, ang ating mga brand ambassador. So yan, maraming maraming salamat po and we'll see you on our next episode here at Be Happy TV. Bye everyone! Happy weekend! Bye!